In this uh, video, I'll be talking about efficiency in Maya animation. This is one of the things that I realized that people don't talk about in college or on YouTube videos. Uh, being efficient while you work. So uh, there's three things that you're going to learn, three tips that I can give you that um, help make it more efficient and how you're going to do it. So the first tip first tip is to use the same layout in your Maya. So you can see my screen right now. This, this is my three pane layout, one, two, three. Let's change it to a two. I only use this two different type of layouts, two and three. So this two panes right here, left side, on one side could be a perspective and the other side is your working camera. I mean the, the camera view thing, right? Um, I use this for a blocking stage and I always use this I've been using this for a very long time mm, yes and then there's the other one which is a tree pane one two and three so there's two views on top and one view at the bottom which is your graph editor graph editor so I only use this um, this kind of pane setup in the polishing stage the splining stage where you need to look at your graph editor and see nothing's going crazy and I will show you how you're going to set this up. Show you quickly windows up here and view arrangements. So you can just pick one of these uh, default setups. Let's say I want to set up this tree kind of um, setup, right? Go to view arrangement and then we go to two pane, three plane split top. Here we go. Wait, why is nothing happening? Split top bottom hmm I think because I have I already have this set up but usually when you do this for the very first time the top all right uh, these these two views would be very different so all you have to do is just like go to perspective and change it to whatever you like maybe it might be something like this something weird so you just need to change this view to your perspective and change this view to your camera and you can even show like whatever you want to whatever you want in your your uh, viewport so my recommendation in perspective is to only have curves and polygons that's all you need you don't want anything else instead default they, they give you everything every single thing you don't want all that it gets really messy when you select things you end up selecting random things that you don't want and that could be trouble all right so the the perspective screen you only have this two curves polygon the camera the camera view we have this only show the polygons whoa what just happened okay all right so this view only polygons and your graph editor mm. and you always want to have to set up everywhere you go i think i have um maybe i should show it okay let me show you right now i'm going to show you way where these um these files are saved too. Let's say if you wanna keep, you wanna keep this layout and you wanna bring it to work and you wanna use this uh, same layout uh, wherever you go, so you don't have to keep doing this. It's very annoying. So you go to documents, Maya, your version, two thousand fifteen, preference, and it's right here. User preference. This is the only file you need for this kind of layout. But if you've seen my uh, hotkey, my other video about hotkey setups. I recommend that you copy these three things because um, that's the only way it works <laughs> I realize so these three files copy them put it in your thumb drive or the cloud and supply it to wherever you go that's step number one always use the same layout you don't have to use the exactly the same like mine let's say if you have two screens two monitors you can kind of split them up for this kind of setup I like to have the perspective on top, graph editor at the bottom, and then the main camera on the other monitor so that way you can see everything blown up because that's how your audience will see things, everything would be blown up. Right, that's tip number one. Number two is to customize your hotkeys. If you haven't seen my video about customizing hotkeys, you could go check that out. I'll probably put a description, I mean a link in the description. Uh, 
just to kind of summarize what that means, or why customize your hotkeys, is that Maya's hotkey setup is very stupid. Just straight up stupid. The buttons are everywhere, and you end up having to look at your keyboard and the screen back and forth way too often. And that little chunk of time adds up to big chunks of time, and no, <laughs> you don't want to do that. So we want to set up the buttons so that you know where everything is without you having to look at the keyboard. <clears throat> so you're kind of like um, touch, few touching where the buttons are at. And you same thing, you want to apply this to everywhere you go, everywhere you work, work at home, at your computer lab, everywhere. Same thing, uh, you can copy the files, like the, th the three files that I showed to you. Just copy those three files. I mean, set up your layouts, set up your hotkeys, copy those three files, and just put it in the cloud, put it in a thumb drive, and use that everywhere you go. And you want to just keep doing this until it becomes muscle memory, until the point where you don't really have to think about um, where these things are at. You just go to that place, and there it is, unconsciously. Kind of like brushing your teeth. Uh, when you brush your teeth, you don't actually think about brushing your teeth, right? You just think, I'm going to go brush my teeth. And you brush your teeth, and then you're done. <laughs> you don't know how that happens. It's because you've been doing this all your life, and you have no idea why you're doing it. You just know that you're supposed to do it. So you, I'm taking that kind of theory, like, you just, how do you, like, um, you ask me, like, how do you know where buttons, what certain button stuff are? Where certain things are at? I, I don't know. It just happened because I've been doing it so many times. I just kind of you know, go with it. So that's uh, because I, I I don't think I talk about this, but I say that willpower is a resource <coughs> like food, water, air, everything, and it can run out. So let's say if you let's say <coughs> if you have work eight hours a day, and then after that maybe you go to a workout or do some kind of physical activity, and you were really tired, and you think to yourself. I didn't really do anything physically, I just sat down and just click, click, click away. And it's because you're just mentally tired, you're not physically tired. And that mental tiredness can affect your phys physical tiredness, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that's why I want you to automate whatever you can, as much as you can, without, as much as you can, automate as much as you can. Like when you're learning your principles, your 12 principles, you do it so often, you don't even think about it. I've been doing animation for six years now. I don't even think about the principles. I kind of just do it because it feels right. And so you could make room for your willpower to do everything else, like to be creative. Like if you think, if you get a shot, you're not thinking about the, the principles of this shot. You're now thinking about how to make the shot more creative, how to make the beats and how to make, um, the character create the character of the animation according to the dialogue the whole story making sure they're all in sequence all these things you have to think about when you're working in uh, industry so that's tip number two tip number three use scripts use scripts i have a few tutorial videos about i mean like re review videos on some scripts that i use personally i think there was two that i mentioned i'll probably put a description here as well is a tweener and anim selector with these two tools two tools you can <coughs> it's all you need it's these two are the core tools i can say there are more tools out there and some people like to use them like uh, poser which is to save your pose library i don't really like using that only certain situations let me take a drink of water only certain situations i will use that but it's unnecessary. This this too, it's free, tweener, and then selector. That's the three tools that I could give you. Use the same layout, use the same hotkeys, and use scripts. Um yes, and just keep doing this until it just becomes easy. It doesn't take it doesn't take very long. I can give you a number on how long it takes, but just keep doing it until you stop thinking about it. And that's the goal of this to keep doing it until you don't think about it. Muscle memory, bye.